Okay guys, so this is part 2 of me answering all your NUS questions. If you haven't watched already, do check out part 1 for more NUS computing based questions. Part 2 will be covering more general NUS questions as well as questions more for prospective international students. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, moving on to the NUS questions. Before I begin, I want to say this. A lot of information can be found online with regards to hostel fees, accommodation and whatnot. As all computing students come to learn, just google it. There's also a lot of content put out by other NUS based YouTubers that cover these things. What accommodation options are there in NUS? Watch this video by Daniel Tamago because it's very very comprehensive and entertaining and US paid in to do it so you know it's going to be informative There's also Singway's video about halls, RCs and residences There's a lot of info in there as well so please do check it out TLDR, I'm going to cover the three main options Residential colleges, halls and residences RCs mostly reside in U-Town besides RVRC They are usually high-rise buildings and are relatively newer compared to halls The facilities are newer and they are cleaner They come with meal plans, breakfast and dinner and you get about five options to choose from each meal You also have the complete RC specific module if I'm not wrong. And this will replace your general education modules. These modules will also differ according to the RC. I think this is the most expensive option, but you do get what you pay for, which is a nicer location to stay. Utah is beautiful, newer facilities and better food. There's like two food courts, a few restaurants and even a fair price nearby. So you basically have everything at your doorstep in Utah. There's also a gym and the swimming pool is not far away either. Halls are more like hostels and are going to be more old as compared to RCs. Shears and Kea are the newest, but it's still like more than 20 years old. Hall is basically a lower sales version of RCs. The facilities may feel cheap but the experience is deep. If you want a stronger sense of communal living, Hall would be more renowned for that. That's not to say you don't get the same with RCs, just that halls tend to be a little more degenerate. And that's going to differ from hall to hall as well, as each hall has its own culture. Yusuf and Damasik are sporty halls. K7 and Raffles are kind of the chill halls, I'm not too sure. BGB house is the nicest rooms and facilities because they were recently renovated. Chis and K are drinking, I mean, artsy halls. Shears and Kea are near to BIS, FASS and computing and they comprise mostly of students in those faculties. Raffles is near to engineering. KE7 and PGP are close to nowhere and even then the blocks inside these halls may have different cultures as well and that also changes with the people you mingle with the most. So a degen hall may not necessarily mean that everyone is a degen. It's really just down to who you hang out with. There's a meal plan provided as well but you only get like two options of food. In my experience it wasn't that good. <laughs> Moving on to residences, there's PGP residences which is honestly just purely a place to stay in NUS. No meal plans whatsoever. Also the cheapest. I think rooms are pretty old. Not to be confused with PGP house. What are the NUS hostel and cost fees? Go online and search NUS accommodation fees. Go to this website and click around and you'll find it. Here's a screenshot for you lazy donuts. As for cost fees, go online and search NUS cost fees. Here's another screenshot for you sloths. Am I able to take a part-time job to cover my fees? I think after you're done with the module, in the following semester you're able to become a TA. But I believe it is about 40 an hour. You can also join my Discord channel because a few of my friends have been TAs before, so they would know more than me. There's also financial aid and scholarship options that you might want to consider. I'm just going to link the Reddit thread in the description below if you want to know more about it. That was pretty much the first time that what extracurricular do you need to get into NUS? You don't need extracurricular. It's just something to add some oomph into your application. Perhaps if you want to become a varsity athlete or something, it might help. Moving on to questions for international students. How do I contact NUS? Google is the answer for everything. Search NUS contact. Click on the thing. Voila! All the emails are here. For international students, I think you might want to contact the Office of Admissions. Honestly, a lot of the FAQs you have will probably be in this page. If not, just drop them an email. How many international students are there in NUS Computing or NUS? Have you seen any Europe? Honestly, I don't know. It's a sizable number, but definitely a minority. Probably a few hundreds, potentially over a thousand. Don't take my word for it. They don't show it inside enrollment statistics, so I'm not too sure. In computing itself, it mostly comprises of foreigners from around the region, aka Asia. Think countries in Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Malaysia. There's also a lot of students from India as well as China. I think for Western countries, less so. I haven't seen many Europeans around. And if I did, I always assumed that they were exchange students. How do I apply? What do I need to prepare? Your country's equivalent of A-levels. There's a whole list in this page right here. Click on your respective examination and you'll see the instructions. Please refer to the link. I'm also going to link three videos in the description below by three international students in NUS who have covered this in their videos. And that's the end of the questions I received so far. Now, before you go and ask me questions, go through this checklist. Have I tried googling it? Have I found an answer on the NUS FAQ page? Has someone answered it on NUS Reddit? As Robbie said, why Google when we can inconvenience someone? <laughs> Don't be that guy or girl. And if you've exhausted those options, I would prefer if you ask me in my Discord channel instead of Instagram because there's other computing students in there as well. I'm not going to know everything. So it's best that you have more people to ask than just me. That's it for the video and I hope it was informative. Do leave a like, share it with your fellow computing friends and whatnot and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.